Hi, I'm Steve. Welcome to the 3M Lab. We're here to help you learn more about steam sterilization monitoring. Today, we'll talk about how to activate and read 3M rapid and super rapid biological indicators. Now that we know about the BI, let's talk about how to activate it. Once you remove the BI from its test pack, allow it to cool per the IFU before activating. For super rapid BIs, you want to activate with the 3M handheld activator. You want to flick the biological indicator. And then you want to inspect. Inspecting is an important part after flicking as you want to make sure that the growth media is covering the spore carrier, which is located at the bottom of the biological indicator. For rapid BIs, once cool, you want to close the cap. You want to crush in the crusher well located on top of the 390 auto reader. You want to tap on a hard surface. And this tapping will ensure that the growth media is making its way down to the spore strip. Once you have completed these steps, you're ready to place the BI in the 3M A-Test auto reader. For super rapid BIs using the 490 auto reader, place the BI in any well of the model 490 auto reader. For rapid BIs, you want to ensure that you are placing the BI in a color-coded incubation well in a model 390 auto reader. The remaining minutes of incubation are displayed on the auto reader display. Do not remove the BI until a positive or negative symbol under the BI indicates that the test is complete. Each day that a test BI is incubated, a control BI that is unprocessed from the same lot number should also be activated and incubated. Be sure to document the lot number and BI result promptly. Thank you for watching. Be sure to refer to the instructions for use for complete instructions and other important information. And visit our website for more information.